After at, you know, we're outside checking IDs and we saw the crowd coming back from the fireworks show. And the next thing you know, right about 9.30 or slightly afterwards, we heard, me and my other door guy who's now gone, we heard just the pop, 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 pop about 10 to a dozen times. And then the crowd just starts running, everybody just running. Um, there was a gentleman who had his kid, you know, and there was small children around the area. So it was really kind of freaky, um, just picking up kids and just running. I mean, it was hundreds of people just running. They were freaked out. They were freaked out and full-blown running. One gentleman I actually saw, he had a small child with him, a little girl, and he actually was running and she couldn't keep up, so he just yanked her up and just kept running. We had some customers who were trying to come inside. It was like, you know, hey, it was a shooting. And uh, I had two young ladies behind me, and I'm like, hey, just, you know, stay behind me in the corner until we figure out what's going on. But we had to shut our doors because we don't know what's going on. It's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's a little scary, you know. Something that happens within not even a hundred yards from where I'm standing, and you know I stand here three nights a week. So, you know, for something to happen with as many cops that were out here tonight, you know, it's kind of it's kind of freaky. It was very sad, very sad. With as much police presence that we had, the amount of police were here, you know, it was a lot, by cops. It was just amazing that something happened in the middle of um, of everything, really.